Hello friends, today we will discuss about the assignment problem. So, assignment problem we can, we can solve by four different techniques and techniques are Hungarian method, simplex method, transportation method and enumeration method. So, for solving the assignment problem, we have one of the best method is the Hungarian method. So, we will make use of Hungarian method for our discussion in this class. So we will start the use of Hungarian method for solving the assignment problem with a simple problem. So we have one of the problems simple problem we have. So we will, we have to find the minimum assignment cost for the given problem. So in the given problem, we have four different jobs. So we have four different jobs we have. And four, we have four four different contractors. So we have four different jobs and we have four different contractors. We have to assign these jobs. We have to assign these jobs to the to, to the four different contractors. So, but our target is to be our target is to minimize the cost. So we'll we'll make use of assignment Hungarian method to minimize the cost. So we start the solving this given problem by making use of Hungarian method. So in the Hungarian method, we have different steps. So in first, very first step, what we will do. So we, in the very first step in Hungarian method, what we will do, we will find the row minima. So for this particular given problem, we have, we will, we are going to find the row minima. So in this case, for this particular row, the row minima is the row minima is the seven. And for this row, row minima is seven. For this row, row minima is two. And for this particular fourth row, the row minima is five. So we have different row minima values, seven, seven, two, and five. So these are the row minima value. So this is a very first step in the Hungarian method that we are going to find the row minima in each row. So we have obtained the row minima. Next, what we will do, we will subtract the row minima we will subtract this particular row minima from the each cell each cell in the in a row so we will subtract the row minima from each cell in a row so for this row uh, the minimum value is the seven so we have subtracted the minimum value from each cell likewise for this particular row the minimum value is seven so we have subtracted the value seven from each row and for third row the minimum value is two so we have subtracted two from each row and for fourth row, the minimum value is five. So we have subtracted the row minimum from each cell. So this is very first step in the Hungarian method. Next we'll, next we'll, what we'll do, we'll find the, we'll find the, so this is the matrix after the row subtraction of the row minima. Next we'll find the column minima for each column. So we'll find the column minima for each column. So we have, for this particular column, we have minimum value in this particular column, minimum is zero. In this column also minimum is zero. For this column, minimum is zero. And for this particular column, minimum is one. So for each column, the minimum value is, the minimum value is zero, zero, one, one. So we have mentioned the column minima. Again, what we'll do, we'll subtract the column minima from each cell in the given column. So we'll subtract the column minima from the each cell. So next we are sub subtracting the column minima from each cell. So we have sub subtracted the column minimum from each cell. And so likewise, we have subtracted the column minimum. So next after subtracting the column minimum, we have obtained the, this particular cell. So we have obtained this particular cell after subtracting the column minima from each cell. So we have obtained this particular column, this particular matrix we have obtained up and after the column, column minima. Next, what we'll do, we'll find the solution matrix. So we'll find the solution for this particular assignment problem. So how we are finding the solution, we'll see. So what we'll do, we'll pick, we'll pick the zero in any row or any column having only one zero. So the, the row or the row or the column having only one zero, that particular zero we will pick. So like that, in, for, in this particular row, in this particular row, we have only one zero. So we have picked this particular zero. So we have picked this particular zero in this particular. So in this particular 
in this particular column we have only one zero so we have this we have picked this particular zero so this is the method for finding the assignment for the given problem so and this is the steps of hungarian method so it since we have picked this particular zero so we will cross this zero because this zero cannot be possible because in any row or in any column only one zero is is to be picked so we have picked this particular zero next since uh, uh this zero is uh this zero we have picked so we have crossed this particular zero so now this in this particular column in this particular column we have only one zero because since uh, this particular zero is crossed this zero is crossed so we have this zero so we can pick this particular zero since we have picked this particular zero in this column and in, in this row so we can cross this particular zero next in this column in this column we have only one zero and that zero this one is the zero so we have picked this so we have assignment one to b so we will assign the job b to contractor one so likewise we will assign the job b to contractor two and job c to contractor three and job a to contractor four so likewise we are going to find the minimum assignment cost by making use of hungarian method so we have obtained the assignment and the assignment is and the assignment is we have assignment so now this zero we have picked this zero pick so this is crossed likewise this zero is picked so this cross so this is the final we have assignment and assignment is 1b 2d 3c and 4a so this is the assignment we have obtained so we have obtained the assignment now we will find the minimum cost so we will find the minimum cost this is the assignment we have obtained this assignment we have obtained so based on this assignment we will find the cost so based on this assignment we will find the cost so for 1b the cost is this is this matrix we have given this matrix is the given matrix for the given problem so this is the same matrix what we have in the given problem so this matrix is the same what we have in the given problem so we will find the cost the we will find so for 1b the cost is for 1b the cost is this seven seven unit in the given assignment problem for 2d it is Eight unit and for three C it is two unit and for four A it is five unit. So finally we have assignment cost. We have assignment cost and that cost is seven eight two five. And if you'll add this cost, so the cost obtained like this. So these are the steps of Hungarian method. So the minimum cost obtained by using Hungarian method is twenty two unit. So the twenty two unit cost we have obtained and this is the minimum cost. we have obtained by making use of hungarian method we'll again we'll see the one few, one more question by making use of hungarian method so next question we have the next question is again we have to find the minimum cost and this is the cost again we have four different jobs and four different contractors so we have again we have four different jobs four different jobs we have and we have four different contractors so we have two assign the jobs to any any one job to any one of the contractor so we will find the job we will find we will assign the job to the given contractor so how we will assign this job we will see so we will make use of hungarian method for assigning this particular job to give to any contractor and our target is to minimize the assignment cost so we will see how we are going to reduce the assignment cost so we will start the making use of hungarian method and very first step in the hungarian method is row transaction means to say row transaction means to say we have to find the row minimum and we have to subtract the row minimum from each cell so we will start the process of hungarian method and in the very first step what we have to do is we have to do row transaction row transaction mean to say subtract the row minimum from each cell in a row will subtract the minimum value in a particular row from each cell from each cell so will we are going to do the row transaction means finding the re, finding the minimum value in a row and we will subtract that particular value from the remaining cell so we are finding the minimum value so we have the minimum value is 8 unit for first rows and for the second row we have 7 unit and for third row it is also 7 unit and for fourth row it is 10 unit we can see in the given we can see this particular values in the given transportation cost matrix so this is the given transportation cost matrix 
this is the given transportation cost matrix and for this matrix the minimum value for this particular column row is 8 unit for this row it is 7 unit and for this row the minimum value is 7 unit and for this row the minimum value is 10 unit so we will do the row, row transaction mean to say we will find the minimum value in the given row and we will subtract that particular minimum value from the remaining cell so we are going to do the same 8 7 7 10 is the minimum value so we have subtracted 8 7 7 10 so first step we have did in the hungarian method is very first step is to find the row minimum and subtract the row minimum from the each cell so we have did that so we have found the row minimum and we have subtracted and that is we will call that row transaction so we have did the row transaction and this is the cell this is the matrix we have obtained after the row transaction so this matrix we have obtained from the row transaction after subtracting the row minimum from each cell we have obtained this particular matrix again we will find the column minima and we will subtract means to say we will do the column transaction we, so for this column this particular column the minimum value is 2 for this column the minimum value is 0 for this column minimum value is 1 and for this particular column minimum value is 0 so we will again do the we will again do the column transaction so we will find the column minimum value in the column and we will subtract the minimum value from each cell so we have subtracted the minimum value from the cell and the cell and we have obtained this particular matrix after subtracting the column minimum from each cell so next we will again go for solution matrix and we have this particular we will find the finding the solution matrix so we will find the solution matrix how we are finding the solution matrix we will see so we have obtained this particular cell after column minimum and we will go we are going to find we are going to find the solution matrix so we will find the solution matrix so we will find the solution matrix like this way so for this particular row or column so if for this column uh, row we have only one zero so we'll pick this particular zero for this particular column we have only one zero so we'll pick this particular zero so since we have picked this zero so we'll cross this zero uh, again we have picked this particular zero so we'll cross this zero now we have two options either what we can do we can put uh, we can pick this particular zero or we can pick this particular zero so we have two options so we have there is a tie so we can break the tie arbitrary so we can break the tie arbitrary and we can find we can select any of the two so we are going to select so first case in the very first case we will select this particular value and in the second case so in the very first case we will select so we will select in the very first case we will select this particular zero and in the second time we will select this zero mean to say this zero we can select because in this particular column only one zero is there so this cross zero is crossed for this particular row only one zero is there so we will cross this so we will cross this particular zero so these two zero we can found we can pick very easily but it is there is a tie that either we can pick this particular zero or we can pick this particular zero so we are going for two different cases in one case we are picking this particular zero and in another case we are picking this particular zero so right now we are picking this zero so we have crossed this zero we are going to cross this zero so since we have crossed this zero so we can uh, pick this zero in this particular column so we have picked this zero since this zero is picked so this uh, you cross this zero is also crossed in this particular column so now we have this zero we can pick this zero in the other hand we have two second option that we can we can pick uh, a, we, uh, we can pick instead of this particular zero we are going to pick the zero or we can pick this zero so we have picked this zero so if we are picking this zero so this zero and this zero is crossed so next we are going to pick this zero so we have two different types of assignments are there here so we have two different assignment over here one assignment is 1a 2b 3c and 4d and another assignment we have this so we have two different assignment in this case we have we are finding one tie in we are finding the tie so we are breaking the tie arbitrary we can select any any of the one but if you are selecting any of the one the answer will be, will not change answer will remain the same so for this particular problem we have this this particular cost matrix we have given in the question so we are now finding the assignment cost ba based on the this particular assignment assignment one or we are going to find the assignment cost based on the assignment two so from based on assignment one we have this this particular cost and that cost is 20 uh, 35 unit so based on uh, assignment two we have cost this particular cost and that cost is also 35 units so from this 
comparison we can say that if you are breaking the tie arbitrarily the cost is not going to change only assignment will be changed and cost remain at is uh, as it is so cost is not going to change cost remain the same but only assignment is going to change so we can say that we can break the tie arbitrarily without uh, uh, without uh, any further condition we can we can break the tie arbitrarily and we can find the minimum assignment or minimum assignment cost so this question we have discussed by making we have used the hungarian method to solve this particular problem few parts are remaining in the hungarian method and that part is plotting of horizontal line so we will make use of a straight line method in the hungarian method sometimes we will find that the solution is not optimal how we are going to decide the solution is optimal or not so if sometime it is not possible to select zero in any row and column then we will say that then we will make use of a solution matrix will will make use of a straight line method for solving that particular problem that particular problem we can solve by making use of a straight line method which is a part of hungarian method so in the straight line method what we will do we will make use of minimum number of horizontal or vertical lines to cover maximum number of zero this is the very basic step of very basic step of straight line method so we will select minimum number of horizontal line to or vertical lines to cover maximum number of zeros so to cover maximum number of zeros we will select minimum number of either horizontal or vertical lines so when we are going to use this particular method so we will make use of this particular method when the number of lines number of lines means the horizontal or vertical lines we are we are, we are plotting and that line we will say that that is the zero line when the number of zero lines is less than number of row so that in that condition the solution is sub optimal and we will make use of hungarian method for solving that sub optimal solution in that case what we are doing we are we are taking the minimum among uncovered values so we are taking minimum among uncovered values and we are subtracting that particular minimum value to the cover elements and we are adding that particular value at the intersection and we are adding the minimum at the lines intersection without changing the cover element so the those elements which are which are being covered by the line we are not changing that those values just we are only adding those values to, uh, we are adding only minimum value at the intersection point so we'll see what these techniques are saying that we'll take one example and we'll we'll get the idea of this particular technique so we have one example right now so we have example about this particular problem so we are going to find the minimum assignment cost by making of this particular problem so we have one problem very simple problem we have three jobs and three contractors we have so we can say we have three different jobs three different jobs we have and we have three contractors so we have three different jobs and we have three different contractors so we are going to assign these three jobs to these three contractors so how we are doing this how we are going to do this so so we are we are making use of the same technique what we have did earlier that we are going to first step we are going for row transaction and then we'll go for column transaction so in the row transaction what we are doing we are finding the row minima we are finding the row minima and subtracting for them from the remaining cell so in this case you will see the row minima is 110 in this case row minima is 115 and in this case row minima is 125 so we are subtracting these values from the remaining cell so after row transaction we will obtain this particular matrix means we have found the we have obtained the row minima and we have sub subtracted that particular minima value from the each cell in the given row in the row so we have this particular matrix we have obtained after the we have obtained after the row transaction again we will go for column transaction and in, in column transaction what we are doing we are finding the minimum value in the column so for this column we have minimum value is zero so if we we'll subtract zero from the remaining cell it will remain the zero so we are subtracting the zero from the remaining cell for this particular cell for this column the minimum value is 10 so we are subtracting 10 from the from the each cell for this particular column the minimum value is 20 so we are subtracting 20 from the each cell 
so after so this is these processes will say the column transaction column transaction means to say finding the column mini column minima and first subtracting that particular minima from the remaining cell so we have this, so we have this particular now we are we are going for now we will go for solution matrix so we will find the solution matrix based after the column transaction so first we have did the column transaction and then we have did the first we have did the row transaction and then we have did column transaction then we will go for finding the solution matrix so in this case for this particular we have only one zero for in this particular column we have only one zero so we have selected this particular zero so but in this column also there is only one zero so since we have collect, selected this, so this zero and this zero will be crossed. So we can select two zero in one row. So we have to only select one zero in a row. So we have subtracted this two zero. So only one zero is there. Now, what we do there, we can select either this because only one zero is in this particular row or we can select this particular zero. So we can select any, any of the one. So we have selected this. So this zero will be crossed. So we have picked two zeros. Since we have three jobs, we have to pick three jobs, three zeros, but we have no choice. No further choice that for finding the four more zeros. So what we have to do in that case, we will make use of a straight line method, which is a part of Hungarian method in which what we are doing is, what we are doing is we are drawing the horizontal or vertical lines to cover maximum number of zeros. So this is the this is the matrix we have obtained after the column transaction. So now we'll draw the straight line. How we are drawing the straight line, we'll see. So we are going to draw the straight line. The, but for drawing a straight line, what we have to do is we have to keep in mind that maximum zero should be selected at very first. Maximum zero should be selected with the minimum number of lines. So if we'll draw one this horizontal line, three zero will be selected. If we draw one vertical line, three zero will be selected. So either we can draw a horizontal line or a vertical line. So we have drawn a one horizontal line. Next, what we'll do, we have we can draw one vertical line so that these two zeros we can plot. So these two, two zeros can be can be plot, can be crossed by these particular vertical lines. So here the number of lines, or we can say that the number of zero lines is only two but the number of row is three. So here the case is that the number of, uh, so the number of zero line, number of uh, zero line is two and number of row is three. Here the number of zero is, number of zero line is zero line equal to two. Number of row equal to so here number of row is three number of zero line is two since number of zero line is less than two number of zero line is less than number of rows so we can say that this particular solution is suboptimal and in that case what we will do is what we will do in hungarian method is we will find the least uncovered value and that least uncovered value is five so what we will do is we will add this five at the junction and we will subtract this five from the uncovered cell so from the uncovered values we'll subtract five and we'll add this five at the intersection of the lines so here right now we have only one intersect intersecting point that's why we have added five here only if we have two intersecting points we'll add this particular five to the two different places so but right now we have only one intersecting point so we have added this five to this particular intersection only so after adding five at intersection, intersecting point of intersection, the particular cost matrix we will obtain. So we have obtained this five, 10, zero, five, 15. So we have obtained this particular matrix uncovered values from the cover, adding this list uncovered values to the junction element. So we have On the remaining cell from the remaining uncovered cell so we have subtracted that value from the remaining uncovered cell we have subtracted and we have added that, that value at the junction now we'll go for finding so we'll add this at the junction. 
for this particular row column column b we have only one zero for column b we have only one zero so we have picked this particular zero since we have picked this particular zero so we can cross this particular zero so we have crossed this zero now in column c we have only one zero so we have picked this zero since this zero we have selected we have picked so we will cross this particular zero so we have crossed this now in this particular column or in this particular row we have only one zero so we have selected this zero so now we have obtained the assignment assignment is 1b uh, 1b 2c and 3a so this is the assignment so we have obtained the assignment and we will find the respectively the minimum cost so 1b 2c and 3a and this is the matrix we have in the given in the question from that particular matrix we will find the minimum assignment cost so for 1b it is 120 for 2c it is 140 and for 3a it is 125 so finally the minimum assignment cost is 385 so minimum assignment cost is 385 so we have obtained the minimum assignment cost by making use of hungarian methods and in the hungarian methods we have used the straight line methods to solve this particular problem again we will see some one more problem for finding the minimum assignment cost so we have one more problem for finding the minimum assignment cost in this problem we have this is the matrix we have obtained so we will make use of Hungarian method in that method we will also make use of a straight line method for finding the minimum assignment cost in this case first step we are very first step what we will do we will find the, we'll do the row transaction means we will find the row minima So now we will solve this particular problem by making use of Hungarian methods. So in Hungarian method, what we'll do, we'll find the, we'll do for row transaction and column transaction. So first we'll go for row transaction means we are going to find row minima and subtracting that row minima from the remaining cell. So we'll subtract the row minima from the remaining cell. So we will go for subtracting the row minima from the remaining cell. So that is the very first step of Hungarian method. So very first step of Hungarian method that we are going for row transaction. So after doing row transaction, what we will do? Go, we will go for column transaction. So in this column, the minimum value is zero. So in this column, the minimum value is zero. In this column, is minimum value is zero. And in this column, minimum value is one. So we will subtract the one from remaining cell. So from we will subtract one from all the cells. So the matrix we are going to obtain is, the matrix we are going to obtain is, this is the matrix we are going to obtain after the column transaction. So this matrix we have obtained after, after the column transaction. Next, we'll go for finding the, next we'll go for drawing the zeros line. So we'll draw the zero line. While drawing zero line, we have to take care that maximum number of zeros should be crossed with the minimum number of either horizontal or vertical lines. So first zero we are going to plot. So if we'll plot first zero like, so we are going to, plot the zero. So first zero, we are going to plot like this. Second zero, say here we have, we have crossed two zeros. So here two zero we have crossed. Anyway, by any means we will plot the zeros, the number of maximum number zero, which is going to cross this two. So second zero, we can plot like this. Third zero, we can plot like this. So we have the number of zero here, the number of zero line is three and number of row is four. So since number of zero line is less than the number of row so we can say that we can use the straight line method we have used the straight line method and we can use the hungarian method to solve the to obtain the optimal solution this, since this is the sub optimal solution so we'll we'll solve this particular problem by making use of hungarian method and in that method what we'll do we'll find the least uncovered value and that is two so we'll add these two at the junction we will add these two at the junction and we have we will subtract these two from the remaining cell so we are going to subtract this will this two through remaining cell and we'll do nothing at at the for these cells we'll do nothing it, these cells will remain as it is so now we are going to subtract these two mini list uncovered value that is two from the uncovered cells and 
we are going to add this least uncovered value at the junction element at the intersecting points intersecting points so we are added plus 2 at this point so the matrix of 10 after the hungarian method after the steps of hungarian method that in that matrix is this is the matrix we have obtained after using the hungarian method so this matrix we have obtained now we will go we are going to find the solution optimal solution we are going to find the optimal solution so we will solve this particular solution matrix we will pick the zeros so how we are going to pick so in this particular row only one zero is there so we can pick this particular zero so we can right now uh, again we are going to find the in this case the number of will we are going to check the number of zero lines how many number of zero lines are there in this case the number of zero line is four and number of row plus column equal number of row is also four so we can say that this solution is optimal solution and we can find the so optimal solution and we can pick the optimum value from here since the number of zero lines is equal to number of rows so we can say that this particular solution matrix is the optimal solution matrix so we can find the minimum trans minimum assignment cost from this particular matrix so we are going to pick the zeros how we are going to pick like this so in this particular in this particular column only one zero is there so we have picked this particular zero now in the since we have picked this zero so we are crossing this zero again since this particular column only one zero is there so we have picked this particular zero in the so since we have picked this particular zero so we are going to cross this zero so we have crossed this zero in this particular column only one zero is there so since this zero is crossed so we can pick the zero in this particular column only one zero is there so we have crossed pick the zero so our assignment is 1b 2c 2a 3d and 4c so this is the our assignment obtained from the, after the solution matrix so now we will find the cost how we are going to find the cost so we will find the cost this is the assignment we have and this matrix we have given in the question this assignment we have obtained by making use of Hungarian method and this particular cost matrix we have given in the question. So for 1B the cost is 5 unit, for 2A the cost is 3 unit. So we will type these costs. So we have write for 5, three, five unit, 3 unit and for 3D it is 3 unit and for 4C it is 5 unit. So we have minimum cost minimum assignment cost and the cost is 80 unit so by this way we have obtained the minimum cost so we have seen the hungarian method and in hungarian method what we are doing is we are mainly doing is we are finding the row minima and subtracting the row minima from each cell and that we are we are saying that that is a row transaction so we are doing row transaction then next we are doing the column transaction so after column transaction we are going to draw the zero lines if the number of zero line is equal to number of row we will say that that particular solution matrix is, is the optimal solution matrix if the number of zero line is less than the number of row then we will say that that particular matrix is not the optimal solution matrix that matrix needs to be optimized and for that what we are doing is we are adding the list uncovered value at the junction element, junction cell and we are subtracting the list uncovered value from the remaining uncovered cell and after getting the number of zero line equal to number of row we are saying that that particular matrix is optimal solution matrix and we are we are going to find the optimal solution from that particular matrix after picking the zeros from column and rows and we are picking only those zeros which have only which has only one in either in row or column so likewise we are doing the assignment and we are finding the minimum assignment cost so this is all about the hungarian method or we can say this is all about the assignment finding the minimum assignment cost so we next we will in the next class we will talk about the special cases of assignment problem so we will stop over here Thank you. Thank you so much.